welcome, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex Nilo, and I am the fascinating host of this show. Today is going to be a very special day. Today we have three participants, and they have come to give it their all only. One challenger will prevail. The challenger who wins the game show gets home the ultimate game show prize. <gasps> A needle's code autograph shirt and hat. In the stage now with our beautiful cupcake, Angie. Wait, what? No fair, I want it for myself. I also know that you want it, folks. But today, that's not going to be possible because it's all or nothing for our three challengers. But maybe you guys can go next time. So, whatever you have to do, do it later because this is the ultimate game show! <sighs> do you smell that, folks? It's the tension and it's in the air. The studio crowd is going wild. And we'll be right back as we wait for our three mighty challengers. Okay, to start the competition, we will have each contestant going in order. Let's see, like this, Dr. Loco, Batman, Alexandre, Niloti. They will each pick a number from the numbered board here to my right, and they each get points. They, the numbered board is 1 to 10. So, if you get one right, you get five points. And then if you get it wrong, of course, it's zero points. Okay, Dr. Loco, go up, please. Pick a number. I choose pi 314, which is the diameter of a circle. But that diameter of a circle isn't really complete. It is actually a, by modern technologies. So, Doctor, please pick a whole number. Okay, fine then. I choose four. I gave you the answer before you even knew it. The answer is four. Four. Great job, Doctor Logo. The word four does have four letters. One, two, three, four. Five points for you. Come on up, Batman. Pick a number. I will pick number eight, Mr. Postman. This one should be easy for you, Batman, because you're always driving. What does the arrow on your Batmobile gas pump indicator light means? Look back here if you're asking, what gas pump or thing?
That's easy, Mr. Horseman. The line indicates where the gas takes its on. And that is correct, Batman! Five points for you. Alexandre Niloti, pick a number. My number will be nine. This one should be easy for you, Niloti, because you're always cooking. Which kind of nacho food does never ever spoil or go bad? Easy peasy, honey. Correct! Five points for you. Wow, everyone's getting this good. But not until round two! Our challengers are awesome! They each have a tie of five points. Now let's start round two! So, Dr. Loco, you're up first. Pick a number. I choose one. Now, Dr. Loco, your second question. What is the lid in a soda can used for? I never thought of that. Maybe it could be used to make a nice bracelet? <laughs> well, Dr. Loco, you could probably use it for that, but that's not actually what it was, it was intended for. It was actually to be used to straws. If you twisted it like this, you could put a straw on it. Like this. Hmm? Sorry, Dr. Loco. No points this time. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, Mr. Batman. Your turn. Uh, we can do number two. Now, Mr. Batman, you only have five seconds to answer this question. What word rhymes with orange? Hmm. I don't know, but all that I can say is that I'm confused that that doesn't even rhyme. Not a teensy, teensy little bit. <laughs> That's a funny one, chap. Yeah, and this is a hard one, but the real answer is that there are absolutely no words in the English dictionary that rhyme with the word orange. Mm-mm. Wow, no points for Batman and no points by anyone who has gone yet. Chef Niloti, your turn. Number three, if you please. So, Chef, what happens to your nose when you lie? Everybody knows that it grows like a Pinocchio. Say what? Sorry, Chef, that's not a real life answer. The real answer is that it gets a little bit warmer. I, uh, I got confused. I knew it was the answer all along. Chef, are you sure that you knew the answer? Touch your nose, please. <laughs> You're joking. I want to cut. I, 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 very hot. I. Oh no, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, chef, no need to be embarrassed. As you see. To win is not always possible. The fact that you're here in front of this live studio audience and the world is just enough to be proud and to be respected and to be determined. So folks, after two rounds, our competitors are still tied. And now we go to the third round. Huh? Oh wow! I, I got an unexpected call, guys, but I have to take this. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I totally understand. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. We now go to a developing story in Gotham City with a reporter called... Bob? Well, let's go! Hi, 
Hello everybody, I am Bob from the Needless Code Network. Right now, Penguin is trying to take over Gotham City and destroy it. <sighs> Phew, touch one of his bombs. Now Batman, we need you! Get out from that contest! Fight Penguin now! Thank you all for inviting me to the show. And I have fun competing against each and every one of you. But I must go, or Tango will destroy the world. Goodbye. Batman, I see now that you have to be disqualified. I fought with you, Penguin, once, but hey, I'm the host of this television show. I can't leave. Well, bye-bye. Let's go to our next two contestants. So, the third round, both competitors will be getting out of their comfort zone. Dr. Local will have to face a food question and Chef Niloti a question about numbers. Okay, Mr. Chef, you're up first. Your question is, why is nine afraid of seven? That, that makes no sense. How is a number supposed to be afraid of another number? Somebody get me on the script. Sorry, Chef, it's not that. It's because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I'm okay, folks. Dr. Loco, this question is for all the glory, all the promise, and all the glory. What color is hippopotamus milk? That's easy. Hippopotamus milk is pink. Ding, ding, ding! We have a winner! Someone in the show will take home the gold! Except it's not really gold. It's Nilo's Code merchandise. Oh no! The baby for cupcake of this show, Miss Angie, will give Dr. Loco the prize! Here to cry. Yay! This is the most important thing I have ever gotten in the whole wide universe. I would treasure it forever like the best trophy in all the universe. So, my friend, to finish our great show, I have three important lessons to tell you. Number one, we need to discuss priorities. So, you could be doing something that you really like. But when something more important comes along, you have to understand that you have to do it, like Batman did. Batman did it, it to save the world. He was having fun in the game show, but when the responsibility of saving Gotham City came up, he just had to do that. Number two, don't tell lies or your nose will burn like Chef Niloti. Don't do that again, Niloti. Final lesson, it's good to know a lot about one thing, but if you really want to be well-rounded, you have to know a lot about many things, like Dr. Loco. And remember folks, stay curious, keep learning, and don't be contained. Dr. Logo, but I will stop the ball to 